here's a little series for your feet. I would imagine that a lot of you are spending a lot more time on your feet than normal. And you can do this with toe spreaders. And you can get them on Amazon. These I bought from my chiropractor years ago. You don't need to use toe spreaders to do this. I happen to have a yoga wedge, which works really well, but you don't have to have that either. You can use a book that's partially opened. You can use a blanket. You can use a towel, anything that kind of gives you a wedge shape. And for this, I'm going to step right up so that for this wedge, I can have my toes off the end. Now, I can also work with a ball. This is a yoga tune-up or roll model uh, ball. It works really well. If your kids have a smaller ball like this laying around, you can use that, or you don't need a ball. But if you put it between your ankles, and as I discussed in a previous video, what's going on with your feet and your ankles is what's going on all the way up the chain. Knees, hips, shoulders, neck. So from here, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. And you can, as you lower, bring the heels down and pick the toes up off. Lift, and lower. Try and extend up through the arch, and lower. And lift, and lower and get up all the way up into that arch and lower. I'm gonna let the ball go so I can move a little faster. You don't have to go fast, but if you feel like you can benefit from that. Now, releasing the heels down and we're just going to bend the knees. Mobility of the ankles, right? Being able to have that space and yes, your knees will probably go over your toes, and that's okay. And lift, and extend, and bend, extend, bend, extend, bend and pause again. Good. That's a quick, easy hit that you can do anywhere. Next thing I'm gonna show you is working with a set of balls or a ball. Um, so that big ball that you saw me using was the alpha ball. Yoga Tune-Up also has a set of balls that comes like this. What's great about the Yoga Tune-Up balls is they are rubber. Now you can use a tennis ball you can even use a racquetball. They're a little softer because they're filled with air, so they will collapse. I would suggest not using a racquetball or a golf ball. They're just too hard. We want to be able to massage the foot without creating more inflammation. Also, if any of you have ever heard of those pinky balls, P-I-N-K-Y, you can get those off of Amazon. They're smaller than this, but they're still made of rubber. I'm going to take one ball out of the carrier and put it on the floor. I'm gonna take my foot and lay my arch right on the top and just let it sit, right? Just gonna relax, let the foot relax around the ball and then you can slowly start to rock from side to side. That's gonna feel really great. So if you think about your hamstring it starts at the base of your glute, where the insertion point is at the top, moves all the way down the back of the leg, around the base of the heel, and attaches right at your arch. So, for those of you suffering with plantar fasciitis, it's not just your foot, it's the whole leg. But this will help with that connection. All right, and so now I'm gonna roll back to where my heel and my arch meet, and same thing. Just let my foot rest, and again, rock from side to side. And then go ahead and press down like you're grinding out a cigarette butt. 
And if your heel needs a little love, just shift it back so it's right on your heel and press down and lift and down and lift and down and lift and down. And now we're gonna slide that all the way to the ball of the foot. And again, just let the foot rest. You can control how much pressure you put by how hard you lean into the ball. And the same thing here, right? We're gonna roll across. Right across the ball of the foot, right where all of those toes connect in. Now come back to center. And again, you can do that grinding motion, like you're putting out a cigarette butt. Come back to resting the heel on the floor, and I want you to grip the ball with all of your toes, and release, and grip, and release, and grip, and release. You can grip and hold and release just your big toe. If you're struggling with that, you might be feeling like you're moving your thumb. Your thumbs and your toes are connect. your big toes connected to your thumb. And then grip and release. And now grip and release all of them. And then we're going to start at the outer edge, the little toe edge, and just roll all the way along and moving along each toe line down the foot all the way across until you get to the big toe side. And then go back and start over, starting at the little toe edge, moving across each toe line as you press down and roll. Then you can come back in the center and give it a quick little roll here, just like that. And you then move to the other side and do the same thing. It's great for your feet. Your feet will thank you later, as will your toes. That's it for this round.